Yes, hello. You wanted to speak with me? I'm thrilled you're enjoying your stay in our domain. A, a walk? Of course. That sounds wonderful. It will be a nice reprieve from the meetings I've had to deal with as of late. <laughs> it seems you attract quite a bit of attention. I hope it doesn't bother you. It is not often we have Hylian visitors here. You wish to go someplace more... private? <laughs> well, that's a bit sudden. <laughs> I might know of a place, if you don't mind following me. Oh, wonderful. <clears throat> it won't take long to get there. Right this way. Now, right? Right over... Oh, oh! Please! Please do be careful. It's quite slippery here. I'd hate for you to get hurt. Oh, uh, m my apologies. I didn't mean to grab you in such a way. <clears throat> uh, I'm acting strange? <laughs> uh, hardly. I... I'm not acting any different around you than I usually do, my friend. F flustered? I... Oh, oh, look, we've, we've arrived. Ah. I'm aware it isn't the most extravagant of places, but it is quite relaxing once you're inside. Ah. The water here is also quite warm. I might have mistakenly fallen asleep here before. I did give my father quite a scare when I didn't arrive for my lessons with Muzu. <laughs> uh, perhaps you might like to sit beside me? Oh, I just remembered. You wanted to discuss something? What seems to be troubling you? You're, you're quite flushed. Do you feel unwell? We can return if you... Uh, that was unexpected. <laughs> uh, I know, of course. Perhaps my wording was poor. It was pleasantly unexpected. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I never would have expected you to have such feelings for me. I'm glad. Of course, I feel the same. That question is a little redundant, is it not? <laughs> I... What? It, you... Love me? Really? Truly? <laughs> How wonderful! I'm overjoyed! Mm. I've wanted to hear those words from you for so long. I was worried you'd never feel the same. Well, b because I'm not Hylian. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I was quite concerned about that. D don't laugh. It's a legitimate concern. Uh, Regardless, I'm happy to call you my own. I love you, too.
I told you it was nice, didn't I? This is my favorite spot to escape from it all. And it'll make an excellent training ground for you. Not that serious. I beg to differ. For Azora, I can think of few things more serious than learning how to swim. You may be a Hylian, but you, you're one of us in my eyes. So I'm taking it upon myself to teach you. The water here should be more than pleasant for you. And all this privacy should help with any nerves you may have. Oh, I, I still think this swimsuit of yours only restricts your movement. But, if you insist on wearing it, I won't stop you. So, are you ready? It's fairly shallow. I can stand up in it. And I'll be right here to look after you. <laughs> well, yes. I suppose I am a great deal larger than you, so our definition of shallow would... Uh, be a little... different. But really, I'm... I'm going to make sure your head is above water the whole time. And if at any point you're uncomfortable or want to stop, we'll get you out of the water right away. All right? Okay. Come on in. Right over here you can wade in. You'll find that your body naturally wants to float. So just try not to think about it. The more comfortable you become, the less effort it'll take. Here, come hold my hands. Y yes, you'll have to paddle out a bit, but only a little. Hmm. I tell you what. If you do it, I'll give you a kiss. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought that would motivate you. Let's see you do it. You've got this. That's it. I'm right here. Aha. <laughs> there you go. Just a little more. A little more. Uh, tr try not to thrash around like that. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Here. I'll stretch my arms toward you a little more. There you go. Oh. You did fine. Don't worry. We'll get you swimming in no time. I promise. The most important part right now is relaxing. And maybe this kiss will help with that. It's alright, love. I'm proud of you for trying it all in the first place. Now, I'll take your hands and we'll work on your kicking. Because uh, flailing about like that is a great way to find yourself sinking. You'll want to... Cut through the water, smooth and sleek. The water will flow around you rather than work against you. Your hands will pull you and your legs will push you. And together, you'll create that forward motion you're looking for. <laughs> See? You're already much better at floating than you thought you'd be. Now, we'll swim to the other side. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not letting go, don't worry. I'll hold your hands and you just work those legs of yours. Ready? Let's go! Huh? There it is. Just one, one at a time. Just, just paddle. That's it. L look, you're doing great! We're almost there, just a little further. And would you look at that! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you actually knew how to swim and were just trying to get some special attention from me. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Hmm? Another kiss? Now, I don't think that was part of the deal. But I tell you what. If you can make it to the other side with a little less help from me, you can have plenty of kisses. Deal? There we go. 
That's the kind of enthusiasm I'm looking for. I'll keep my hands close to yours, but you'll have to use them if we're going to make it all the way over there. Ready? Let's go! Uh, yes, but... Hand over hand, you can do it. Don't, don't think too much, just one at a time. You don't have to go fast. <laughs> yes, you're floating just fine. And... We're a little over halfway there already. That's it. You can do it. Just a little further now. I believe in you. <laughs> there you go. See? That wasn't so bad. Amazing. You were just... Mm, mm, mm. I... I... <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Mm. Now, the lesson isn't over. I know I said you could have more kisses, but... <laughs> oh, I... Um... Look, you've practically climbed on top of me. Uh, well... I suppose I did say you could have plenty of kisses. There's not really a number associated with plenty. <laughs> a few more wouldn't hurt. Oh. <sighs> Careful now. This could turn into a bit of a distraction. <sighs> Not that I would really mind. I tell you what. Why don't you... sit up here on this ledge? I'll give you something that'll... Properly motivate you. Slow down. That's right. Just slow things down for a moment. I'm here. I've got you. Place those little hands of yours in mine and just focus on the sound of my voice. I know you're anxious. So let's push all those worrisome thoughts as far out of your mind as we can. Take a nice, deep breath for me, all right? <sighs> and another. Now blow all those nervous thoughts away as you exhale. Moments like this may seem daunting, like giants looming on your horizon. But trust me, you're strong enough to push through this. You've conquered giants before. You've overcome so much that, looking back, they may not seem significant now. But in the moment, they brought you the same discomfort you're feeling right now. But you're here. On to the next challenge. There's no reason this won't be just like everything you've conquered before this. I have unwavering faith in you, my cherished friend. My belief in you is unshakable. And if you must, lean on that faith. Keep breathing. There. Now, come with me to a fond memory, a favorite thought, a happy place. Paint me a picture with the thoughts and 
feelings that comfort you the most. Would you do that for me? It can be big or small. It can be anything, so long as it becomes an island for you to stand upon. <sighs> Hold on to this as you let the world around you start to speed up again. As you move forward to face this, keep my words and that picture you've painted for me in mind. You've got this. If you need any reassurance, I'll be here with you. Now, carry on, my champion. <sighs> you know, I do cherish our little moments like this. Being with you holding you in my arms as you rest your head against my chest. I wouldn't trade this for the world. My heart swells every time you draw near. I'm just so... so happy. Truly. Undoubtedly happy. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. That? Uh, that's a bit of a natural occurrence for me when I'm extremely comfortable and content. Uh, embarrassing, sorry. It's not exactly unusual for me, though I must admit it's been quite some time that I've been that happy. <laughs> if you find it too odd, I can refrain. I just have to keep it in mind. Oh, no. Believe me, if it were a more... Aggressive growl. You would know it. Uh, you really don't mind? All right, I'll try not to be self-conscious about it then. If you rest your head against my chest, you may even find it relaxing. But first, how about a kiss? <laughs> mm. Ah, rest now. Good night, love. <laughs> I'm not the best at bandaging wounds, but I think you're set. <sighs> yes, just a scratch. But you know that this was a close call. You do know that, right? Bravery is all well and good until you wind up dying. I just... Tales of heroism and being a folk hero doesn't mend a broken heart. 
There's nothing heroic about leaving the people who love you left dealing with grief and remorse. My people have yet to move past the loss of Mipha. I haven't. I don't know if I ever will. Be brave. Be heroic. Yes, certainly. But be smart. And being smart means not jumping off a cliff and trying to land a... And I quote... Really sick surprise attack on a beast ten times your size. You Hylians are the squishiest of the races, and yet you act as if your heart is a Goron, impervious to that which could snap a little thing like you right in two. I... I'm sorry. I don't... I don't know what came over me. I just... I've lost people I love. People I cared about. And I... I'm not willing to suffer that kind of a loss again. So yes, I'll save your skin as often as I need to. You hard-headed little hero. Hmm? Wha what? What? Love, I didn't say... Uh oh. Right. I said that there's nothing heroic about leaving the people who love you behind. Who, who loves you? I mean, well... Plenty of people. You're fairly well liked. What do you want me to say? The truth. Sometimes the truth can be an inconvenience, you know. And the last thing you need is further inconvenience. You're already wounded. I don't want to make things... weird. Weird like... Weird like a Zora prince loving a reckless Hylian. <laughs> See? Look at this face you're making. Now, let me go make you some... <sighs> well, no, I don't personally think it's weird. Not at all. I think love transcends everything. Anyone with a heart knows that the heart simply wants what it wants. I was mostly referring to... Well, I assumed... I assumed that you wouldn't understand or... reciprocate. Explain! I'm... I'm trying! I'm really trying! It's just... Look at me! I'm easily three, maybe four times your size. I could easily take a bite out of you. Little Hylian children run in terror when they see me. We're just... We're just very different. And I wasn't expecting to confront these feelings tonight and expose my fears like this. But here we are. Yes. Fear. Fear that someone I adore so completely, someone who my heart could swell so much for. Fear that you would be disgusted by the thought of someone like me, loving someone like you. I'm sorry. This isn't at all what I would have dreamed up if... If I were to think of how I would confess these feelings. But here we are. What? Well, well, of course I trust you. I just... It, it's just that I guess it never came up. How could I bring that up? Hey, uh, what do you think about my people? 
Are you capable of romantic love for a race that is a hop and a skip away from being kin with the type of fish you fry up for dinner? No? Ha! <laughs> of course not. What a silly thought. <sighs> I... I don't know if you realize how terrifying of a thought that is. I may have just kept it all to myself forever, rather than run the risk of having my heart shattered in such an embarrassing way. <sighs> what if you felt the same? Well, well, that's the risk. Well, trust me, I've thought about it. I've dreamed about it. I've longed for it. But I didn't want to burden you or complicate our relationship. So, all of that was just to say that if something happened to you, if something ever happened to you, if you were gone, well, that would shatter my heart worse than even if you rejected me. Well, you've suckered me into spilling my feelings. And the whole point was that I needed to implore you to be more cautious. <sighs> don't, don't laugh. This is serious. Hmm? What? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what are you... Mm. I... Um... Mm. <laughs> wow. You're soft. Your lips, I mean. And warm. <laughs> it's so unusual. Your... Your skin is different than mine. It's... <laughs> almost succulent. May I... May I please kiss you again? Yes, I suppose I might taste a bit different. Is that a bad thing? No? Good. Then you won't mind if I keep kissing you. Mm. Well, yes, I don't mind if you touch me. Well... Where, exactly, do you intend to touch me? Uh, everywhere. <laughs> I... Are all Hylians this bold? Or just foolish little ones like you? <laughs> mm. Yes. You may do as you please with me. But there are parts of you I'd like to explore as well. You wouldn't mind, would you? Ah. <laughs> What you're failing to understand is that the Hylian trade routes need to be secured. If we could spare even a few guards, I... <sighs> if you would just listen and spare a little bit of empathy, then perhaps you would understand. 
I respect your position as Elder Advisor, but I can't help but wonder if your mind has become waterlogged in your old age. That's enough. Good day. Oh. 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 Uh, dear. I... I didn't realize you were here. Oh. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Oh, oh no. You're upset. I... Please. You know I'd never raise my voice at you. I don't enjoy being angry. But I also believe that in dire times, you must be steadfast in your beliefs. It's a righteous anger, reserved for times when those who are capable of offering kindness and aid refuse to do so. Times like this. Oh, I shouldn't have yelled. Muzu's mind is already closed off to any of my ideas. Yelling will only push him further away. Oh. Here. Oh, oh, okay. No touching. Oh. I'm upset with myself for losing my temper. May I at least dry your tears? That's it. <laughs> there, there. I'm not angry with you, love. Never. I love you. For you, I have nothing but patience and understanding. Oh. It's okay. Now then, how about a hug? That's it. Oh. Oh. All of this pressure. <laughs> I can't lie. It's been getting to me. Oh. I love you. It's okay. No more worries. It's... It's all right. What? No, you... You have nothing to apologize for. I understand completely. It's... It's natural that you'd be unsettled after seeing me act in a way unbecoming of a prince. I can imagine that it would be scary for someone as small as you to witness someone of my stature getting angry. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll promise you now, should you ever witness something like that out of me again, it'll be in your defense. You can trust me, always. Can we stay like this a little longer? You holding on to me, it... It... It eases my mind. For... For now. I can try again tomorrow. Thank you. Is that... Why, yes! It's... It's you! What are you doing here at this hour? Are you... Oh... Oh, goodness! Please, 
coming from the rain. Hold on, one thing at a time. No, no, you're not being a bother at all. I'm... <laughs> I'm happy to see you, but... Oh, you're soaked. Let me see if there's something I can... I... Oh. I'm here. I'm here. It's all right. I'm right here. Are you... Are you crying? I thought it was just the rain. Oh, goodness. I... Of course you can hug me, you little fool. Oh, there, there. Oh, I've... I've missed you. I... I hate that our reunion isn't under happier circumstances. What's going on? Oh. Oh no, I'm... I'm so sorry. I know you cared for them a great deal. I... I know how much it can hurt when your feelings go awry. I wouldn't wish that ache on anyone. I... I certainly wouldn't wish it on someone as worthy as happiness and joy as you. <sighs> it's alright. Oh, it's okay. It's alright. I'm right here. It'll be alright, I promise. Just... Just let it all out. It's okay. No, I... I don't mind in the slightest. I'm here for you. I always have been. And always will be. Oh, of course you're worthy of love. I don't know why they were so cruel to you. But clearly... If they couldn't take care of you and your emotions, they... Uh, well, they weren't worthy of them in the first place. Uh, but I know that doesn't make the pain go away. Heartbreak doesn't get wished away with silver linings and hope that everything works out for the best. But you are strong. And feelings... Whether they're positive or negative, do not make you any less of a champion. You will make it through this, as you've made it through other challenges. My faith in you is unwavering, and I will be here to support you however I can. For however long you need me. Why am I so sweet? Uh, oh, <laughs> you know, that's just how I am. And now, I'm not an expert on how Hylians work, but I think if you stay in these wet clothes, you may get sick. And I'd hate for you to go and catch a cold while also dealing with these pesky emotions. I'm, I'm sure I can find something to wrap you up in. And we can get a fire going to warm you up. Oh, and I've also been trying something very exciting. I I'm learning how to make tea. You'll try some if I make it, won't you? Wonderful. Just... Ah. Uh, of course. Of course it can wait. I'll stay here with you until you're ready to let go. No matter how long it takes. I'm here. I'm right here. And I'm not going anywhere.
I cannot deny your cunning, wicked spirit, entrapping me in your lair like this, luring me in, tying me to your, um, literal spider web. I I'm sorry, did you make this massive thing yourself? Oh, <clears throat> sorry, right. But it will all prove foolish. As soon as I free myself from your cursed bindings, I assure you, you will regret the moment you dared, assuming the royal guards don't find you first. Oh, you're not done with me. Why, what on earth do you want with me? Surely it can't be more than the ransom I'll bring you. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, oh, you want me to join you? Never. I would never betray my people in such a way. What kind of prince could ever do such a thing? Much less go gallivanting into the night with you. I know what your creatures have done. The hell that you and your dastardly brigade have brought upon Hyrule. I would never help contribute to that. Never. Other ways to convince me? Ha! Do your worst. There's not a thing you could do to tempt me to such a life of villainy. Torture me as you wish. Beat me. Burn me. Do as you will to your heart's content. It'll be fun to watch you try. Hey, I'm trying here. You're the one that kidnapped me, may I remind you? How you snuck past the guard, I have no idea. Actually, how did you do that? And how did you even get in here? Y yes I know, but like, in terms of... <sighs> right, right. Suspension of disbelief. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Where was I? Um... But as I said, do your worst. It'll have no effect on me. Oh? Oh. Right. Uh, well, I suppose there is that. Um, I mean, I see your game, Temptress. You will not succeed. Your wiles may seduce other men, but by no means will I ever join your band of the depraved. I am a proud Zorin prince. I will not crumble beneath your seductive ways. Huh. To even attempt such a thing would only be a waste of your breath. That being said, uh, you do make a compelling argument. Foul as your heart may be, I'm not foolish enough to pretend that you don't possess beauty. Pretend the way that the fire dances in your eyes couldn't make the sunrise herself envious. Pretend that the soft curve of your lips <laughs> does not fill me with a hunger that I have never felt before. Regardless, <laughs> your best attempts will fall short of charming me. Mm. Mm. Um. Uh, um. <laughs> no, I don't believe... Mm. Where did you learn to kiss like that? Um, I will admit, you certainly know what you're doing, don't you? I can barely comprehend how such an evil force could hide under such a lovely face. How... Such soft hands could be the 
cause of so much destruction. How someone with such bright eyes could find delight with me on my knees. But I suppose that would be the point of this form, would it not? Huh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Kiss me all you'd like. I... Uh. No. No, I... I can... I will not. I will never betray my people in such a manner. I will not let you tempt me into such a life. Even if that meant... Even if that meant being at your mercy like this. What? Are you going to kiss me into submission? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. uh. All right, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Has there been any word yet? <sighs> I'll come out and join the search parties myself then. <sighs> but they've been missing for over a day now. I suppose it is already nearly dark. I... Very well. I understand. Thank you. Where could they be? It's been over a day already. They know the domain. They shouldn't be lost. They could be hiding. But from what? Oh, what if... No, no, I... I can't allow myself to think that way. <sighs> oh, oh, you found them. Marvelous, please b bring them here as quickly as possible. Oh, oh my love. You're, you're back. Thank goodness. I've, I've been so terribly worried. Uh, when the company came back from the falls yesterday saying you've disappeared and they couldn't find you, I... Uh, I confess I feared the worst. Very few things in the domain would stand a chance of besting you, of course. But there is the Lionel up there, and... I know how reckless you can be at times. Oh, but I'm grateful to have you back again. Oh, oh, oh. Are you all right? I didn't mean to squeeze you too tightly. Are you injured? Please, please let me help. I may not have Mipha's abilities, but I do know how to bandage a wound and such. Uh, grazed by an arrow? Uh, no matter, I I can handle that. Let, let me help you. Oh, oh dear. Look at this burn. It must hurt. Let me... Here. Uh, a cool rag to ease the burn. Does that... Feel better? I haven't seen anything running around with fire arrows lately. What did you run into? <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be embarrassed. I'm certainly not going to look down on you for getting injured. No matter what, bye. That's not it. Well... Then what is it? <sighs> well, I won't try to force you to tell me. Let's have a look at this now that it's had some time to cool off. <sighs> These blisters... <sighs> it... 
It's almost like... Are these burns from a shock arrow? You didn't go off and fight the Lionel, did you? Surely you didn't. Especially not on your own. Now hold on, I'm not saying... No, I know we Zora are very sensitive to electricity, but... I... <sighs> I suppose there's no point in debating what has passed. No. I'm not upset with you. I just wish you wouldn't be so reckless. Your life and your well-being have value. To us. To me. You are strong, but you shouldn't just rush into danger of that magnitude alone. If no one else, do you not feel you can rely on me? I've stood by you in dangerous battles before, have I not? <sighs> Here. Uh, lift your arm so I can secure the bandage. There. How does that feel? Not too tight, I hope? Good. Well, I imagine you'd like some time to rest. You must be tired. I'll, I will take my... Oh... Now you want me. <laughs> you want me to kiss it better, you say? Yes, I... <laughs> I think I could manage that. I suppose while I'm at it, perhaps I should try to kiss you better. I wonder if I can kiss those dangerous plots out of your mind. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. I'm welcome to try. Well, my love, I accept your challenge. Hmm. My brave little fool. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> well, yes, I... Perhaps it does somewhat ease my mind that you prevailed over the Lionel. Now we no longer need to worry about defending the domain against it, I suppose. Perhaps I needn't have worried. Your prowess is no secret here, or, or anywhere. Just... Please, at least consider being more cautious in the future. I know to expect more than that is perhaps foolhardy, but... Well, a Zora prince can hope, can't he? Hmm. <laughs> For now, let me just hold you like this, if you don't mind. <sighs> yes, this is much better, having you here, safe in my arms, my love. My dear champion, I hope this letter finds you in good health, or at least in such health that you haven't lost that lovely smile of yours. It hasn't been that long since we were last together, but in my heart it feels as if we've spent an eternity apart. 
duty calls for the both of us. But what I wouldn't give to have a brief reprieve. A night with you. A few fleeting hours to be reminded of your touch. Of your love. <sighs> oh, that sounds about right. <clears throat> and oh, how I wish to remind you of my own love. Of the way you thrill me. The way you encourage me to embrace my desire. Does that sound too... Uh... <clears throat> no, no, that's fine. You've made me so much more comfortable in my skin. And for that... I cannot thank you enough. Have you had time to practice your swimming? I'm reminded of our lessons in the grotto. I still wonder if you actually knew how to swim and were simply swindling kisses out of me. Not that you'd ever need to swindle anything out of me. I would give you the world. Or shower you in kisses. Whatever suits the mood. Now see, that's charming. Okay. <clears throat> I am proud of you. I am proud of you for many reasons. Your strength, your determination, and your foolishness chief among them. You walk a fine line between bravery and stupidity, and no, do not take that harshly. You know it's true. <laughs> I know you're making that pouty face. Stop that. It's too cute, and I'm not there to kiss it away. Ah, <sighs> this is too sappy. They'll think I'm being far too needy. But I miss... Hmm. Uh, hello? What? Hey! What? How long have you been standing there? I... I was just reading my letter back to me. That's a perfectly common practice. I... <sighs> I have missed you. Come here. I didn't think I'd see you so soon. No, I'm not going to cry. Oh, come here, you little fool. Did you really hear the whole thing? That's embarrassing. Well, no, I wasn't going to edit it. I've already written it. I just... Well, I didn't want you to think any less of me for... For missing you so much. Yes, I know it's only been a week, but... No. I love you. Being apart from you is like... Being apart from my right arm, I... It's hard to... It's hard to go back to living like... Like I have a life that you hadn't transformed completely. You... You've changed everything for the better. And I miss you so. Hmm. Now... You can't just surprise me like that. I was in the midst of being emotional. <laughs> okay, I never had a problem being emotional, but... <sighs> Am I dreaming? Did I fall asleep at my desk? It's not a dream, is it? Please tell me it's not a dream. If it is, 
I hope I'll stay asleep for a little while longer. I love you so. <sighs> Have you ever looked up at the stars and pondered on just how small we really are? Everything can seem so grand and overwhelming. Hyrule, the kingdoms within it, battles and politics and people. When really, we are just a small part of a picture that is much more grand than all of this. And yet, from this perspective, laying here with you, even though I know full well how small we are, you are simply the biggest. You're the greatest thing in my world, you know. All the stars in the sky couldn't hold a candle to how massive you are, filling every corner of my heart, every hour of my day. <sighs> Perspective is a funny thing like that. Before you, I had very little of it. I was simply a prince, fulfilling his duties, awaiting his turn. That was all. I had no need for ambition or goals. Everything was given to me by circumstance. It wasn't horrible. But now that I've been so blessed as to live a life with you in it, I realize how hollow I was. With you, I am so much more. I always believed that love, true love, was like a magical pool of water. You gaze into it, and your reflection shows all the parts of you that you had no idea were there. Whether they were already there or something you have to strive to become, You've shown me what I was blind to in my complacency and comfort. And now, now I want to grow. I've worked hard to become more caring and more understanding. I don't simply want to play the part my birthright bestowed upon me. I want to be a leader not a ruler. And I want you to be by my side, the two of us, together. Would you lead with me? It has been quite some time since Zora's domain housed a throne built for two. I suppose the question I really mean to ask is, would you marry me? <sighs> <sighs> 